British television viewers will forever remember Porridge as one of the best sitcoms to ever appear on the British airwaves. Created and written by Ian Lafrenet and Dick Clement, The Beloved, in 1979, a Porridge feature film hit theaters and was received fairly well with critics and audiences alike. The sitcom revolved around two prison inmates, Norman Fletcher and Lenny Godber, played respectively by Ronnie Barker and Richard Beckinsale. Viewers watched as Norman and Lenny served out their lengthy sentences at the fictional HMP Slade in Cumberland. The title of the show has a dual meaning. For one thing, porridge is the traditional breakfast served in British prisons. And in the 50s, it was also a British slang term for a prison sentence. Given its popularity, it received a follow-up sequel series in 1978 called Going Straight. In that show, Barker reprised his role and did everything he could to avoid being sent back to prison. In 2016, Porridge was given the reboot treatment with a new show of the same name. In that offering, Fletcher's grandson starts a prison sentence of his own. Join Facts First UK as we reveal the real reasons why Porridge was inevitably cancelled. The Tragic True Story of Porridge Porridge's success, at least in part, hinged upon the skillful performance of Ronnie Barker as the show's protagonist, Norman Stanley Fletcher. But even more so than just Barker's phenomenal on-screen delivery was the pitch-perfect chemistry between his character and Richard Beckinsale's. Sadly, Beckinsale died just as the show came to an end in 1979. While the program had already reached what many see as its natural end, Beckinsale's death remains a tragedy. Beckinsale was born on the 6th of July, 1947, in Calton, Nottinghamshire. While he was attending College House Junior School in Chilwell, he began appearing in school plays. One of his earliest roles was that of Dopey in a school production of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. In his teen years, Beckinsale played the lead in Tobias and the Angel. That performance earned him a positive review in the local paper, the Nottingham Evening Post. At 15, Beckinsale left school with aspirations of becoming a pro actor, but at the time, he was still much too young to attend drama school. So he spent the next year working various menial labor jobs. When he turned 16, he enrolled at Nottingham College in Clarendon. There he studied drama for two years until he was old enough to enroll at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts. He failed his first audition but was accepted after his second attempt, making him one of just 31 successful applicants out of a pool of more than 12,500. Beckinsale graduated from RADA in 1968. He then moved to Crewe where he began performing in repertory theater. Around this time, he also appeared in other repertory productions around the nation, including in Colchester, London, Hull, and Leeds. From The Wizard of Oz to Shakespeare's Hamlet, Beckinsale spent the following years performing in a number of productions before taking a brief hiatus from acting in 1969 to work at a bottle factory. After quitting that job, Beckinsale scored his first TV role in 1969, playing a police officer in Coronation Street. He later appeared in a 1970 episode of the show A Family at War, in which he played a young soldier. Beckinsale landed his first starring role playing the character Jeffrey in the sitcom The Lovers, which aired between 1970 and 71. In that offering, he starred alongside another newcomer, Paula Wilcox. The Lovers put both Beckinsale and Wilcox out in the public eye. A film adaptation was produced in 1973, with both leading performers reprising their respective roles. Porridge was a surprise hit. In 1973, the BBC comedy series Seven of One saw Ronnie Barker starring in seven different situation comedy pilot episodes. Whatever was determined to be the most successful would then be made into a full-fledged series. One of the episodes was called Prisoner and Escort. It was newly written by Dick Clement and Ian Lanfrenet and focused on a newly sentenced criminal named Norman Stanley Fletcher. In the episode, Fletcher, played by Barker, was escorted to prison by two wardens, the stern, no-nonsense McKay, played by Fulton McKay, and the timid Barraclough, played by Brian Wilde. The episode was broadcast on BBC Two on April 1, 1973. Barker preferred another one of the pilot episodes, a sitcom about a Welsh gambling addict, but despite his wishes, Prisoner and Escort was selected to be turned into a full series. The end result was Porridge, a title that Barker, Lafrenet, and Clement actually came up with independently of each other. While doing research to develop the series, Clement and Lafrenet went out to speak with a former inmate named Jonathan Marshall, who had written a book titled How to Survive in the Nick. Marshall gave the two a rundown of prison slang, etiquette, dress, and routines. 
In their discussion with Marshall, he used the phrase little victories to describe the matter in which he looked at the minor accomplishments he made while behind bars that made his sentence a bit more bearable. This struck a chord with both writers, who decided they should make the series be about an inmate who tries to make his daily life in prison easier by beating the system in trivial ways. While Barker was already a shoe-in for Porridge's lead role, the show's creators needed someone to play his friend Lenny. That's when Beckinsale was selected out of hundreds of other auditioners. When he was chosen to play Lenny, Beckinsale expressed relief for the opportunity, owing to his fear that he was beginning to be typecast as Jeffrey from The Lovers. Barker had actually originally suggested actor Paul Henry, but director Sidney Lotterby chose to go with Beckinsale instead. The same year he landed the role as Lenny Godber in Porridge, Beckinsale was also cast as the medical student Alan in Rising Damp. Both shows ended up being hugely successful and catapulted Beckinsale to fame. Beckinsale's health rapidly deteriorated. Porridge and Rising Damp both ran until 1977. The following year, Beckinsale reprised his role in the six-episode Porridge spin-off series, Going Straight. In 1979, he played Lenny Godber one last time in the Porridge feature film. It was while he was making his next series, Bloomers, a sitcom set at a florist, that Beckinsale started experiencing some rather alarming symptoms. He complained that he generally felt unwell and frequently suffered from blackouts and dizzy spells. He also expressed he was experiencing pain in his arms and chest. According to one of his co-stars, David Swift, Beckinsale began looking grayer and grayer as his health rapidly deteriorated. Then tragedy struck. Beckinsale was supposed to attend a rehearsal for the final episode of Bloomers, but after he failed to show up to set, a member of the show's production crew phoned his home. A friend who was staying with him while his wife, actress Judy Lowe, was in the hospital, attempted to wake Beckinsale but failed. It soon was discovered he'd suffered a massive heart attack in the middle of the night. He was pronounced dead on March 19, 1979. Sadly, he was 31. A post-mortem revealed he'd been suffering from a congenital heart defect. While Porridge had already come to an end, with Beckinsale's death, it confirmed there would never again be another series made featuring him beside Barker. The final episode of Porridge, entitled Final Stretch, was broadcast on March 25, 1977. While the producers and writers of the show expressed interest in making more episodes, Barker was wary of being typecast as his character and desired to move on to other projects. In 1976, Barker played Friar Tuck in the movie Robin and Marion. That same year, he began playing Arkwright in Open All Hours, yet another classic British sitcom that routinely appears on best of lists. After Beckinsale's death in 1979, Barker appeared in another sitcom, The Magnificent Evans, which was all about a Welsh photographer. The program premiered in 1984 but failed to be a success. His final sitcom appearance was in Clarence, in which he played the title character Clarence Sale. That show aired in 1988. Not only did Barker play the lead, but he also wrote the show's scripts under the pseudonym Bob Ferris. After spending decades working in television, Barker died of heart failure in Atterbury, Oxfordshire on October 3, 2005, at age 76. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think made Porridge such a memorable and popular show? Was it the chemistry between Ronnie Barker and Richard Beckinsale or the writing? Let us know in the comments section below.